Hello guys, welcome to PG Tag Sorts. Topic for today is qualitative defects of platelets. Initially, we shall be looking at addition, where platelet is attached to vessel, which causes activation of platelets, ultimately leading to aggregation, where multiple platelets are attached to each other. For addition, we would require GP1 be receptor on platelet surface and von Willebrand factor at vessel. We can remember that easily as V is for vessel and one platelet is involved so we can remember it as one B receptor and in cases of aggregation two platelets are involved so we can use the technique of 2B to remember this. Test for addition is done using Ristocetin test. If GP1B and von Willebrand factor both are present test is positive and if any of this is absent test is negative. Test of aggregation is done using ADP, collagen and epinephrine. The presence or absence signifies aggregation to be present or absent. We require two more information before discussing about qualitative defects of platelet. One is PT is increased if there is defect in extrinsic pathway and APTT is increased if there is defect in intrinsic pathway. Similarly, Born Willebrand factor as we can see V1, 2 and 3 that is Von Willebrand factor as factor 8 with it to form a complex. So as we say decline in Von Willebrand factor we can also see decline in factor 8. So discussing about qualitative defects first we shall be discussing about Bernard Solier syndrome where there is deficiency of GP1B receptor ultimately leading to platelet addition disorder. In cases of bernard solier syndrome, platelets are large. We can remember B for big. And as there is only deficiency of GP1B receptor, we can see that PT and APTT are normal as no clotting factors are involved and BT is prolonged in every cases of platelet defects. Further, as it is defect of addition, we can see that Ristocetin test is negative and platelet aggregation is normal, so we can see the test is normal. In cases of von Willebrand disease, there is deficiency of von Willebrand factor. We can see that von Willebrand factor is required for addition. So it is defect of addition. And the platelet size is normal. And as we discussed earlier, if there is deficiency of von Willebrand disease, von Willeb sorry, von Willebrand factor, we can see deficiency of factor 8 and factor 8 is part of intrinsic pathway. We can see prolongation of APTT but PT is normal. As this is addition defect, we can see Ristocetin addition test to be negative and aggregation test to be normal. Next thing is Glanzmann thrombosthenia where there is defect in GP2B receptor. As we know 2B receptor is used for aggregation so it is defect of aggregation. We can see aggregation test to be negative and Ristocetin addition test to be normal. As we know there is no clotting factors involved and the defect lies in receptor GP2B. So APTT and PT are normal, but in cases of Glanzmann thrombosthenia, we can see small platelets. That's the crack for today, guys. Have a great day.